My name is Khalid Krushit. I'm a vice president and country manager for Athlete Philippines. I manage the Philippines operations and also head the recruitment uh, for the Philippines, HR, progress mitigation, and CCTV global operations. This is a journey of Athlete's global expansion. In 2012, uh, Athlete decided to open up operations in the Philippines, and that's how we started our. So we started off with a small uh, operations in uh, Bonifacio Global City. We have roughly around, I think, 60 production seats in one training group. Uh, and after a year, uh, we moved into a bigger space in Commonwealth in QC, and that's where we really took off. Uh, for the first uh, several years, you know, the growth was uh, very slow. We were able to onboard a uh, few programs. We really took off uh, from 2019 when we expanded our footprint and uh, moved into our office building, which is OFC. So we started with two different locations. And since 2019, we have been growing uh, in, in the Philippines. And uh, so far, uh, you know, uh, we are sitting where we're Little eight, a little over 8,000 employees. So in 2012, we had zero employees, but today we are sitting over 8,000 employees. You know, we decided QC or uh, Kansas City because uh, Kansas City is one of the largest city cities inside Metro Manila. And in fact, 27% of our, 27% uh, of Metro Manila population is inside uh, QC. And uh, where, where our sites are, people can afford to live. And that helps us with you know, giving the work-life balance, but also helps us retaining really low attrition and also uh, high level of attendance and low absenteeism during the typhoon or any uh, whenever we have uh, any national disasters. On a couple of consultancy firms specializing in picking up uh, geographies for expansion for our industry. Keeping that in mind, you know, there is a very thorough process that we follow uh, which looks into a number of factors, uh, as I mentioned, security, availability of labor, uh, infrastructure from the physical infrastructure, but also from the IT standpoint, uh, from the, the also looking into the, the assistance from the government, tax benefits. Uh, so all of these things that would factor in whenever we are uh, looking to uh, open up our, our facility anywhere. Well, Athlete Philippines really uh, had a huge impact in overall uh, business uh, or overall uh, for Athlete just because, you know, the profit margins are huge in the Philippines and the performance uh, of the Philippines team has been great. And that that resulted in a lot of expansion or growth for us. So just imagine, you know, we started with uh, zero employees in 2012 and, you know, 11 years. Uh, 11 years from our first launch, 11 years from our launch, now we are over 8,000 employees and we are still growing. But the margins has been uh, great in the Philippines and that helped us, uh, you know, that then contributed to overall AF needs uh, financial success and that, that also uh, positioned us to expand into Mexico as well. So our existing clients, I mean, they do want us to provide set out uh, services and support in, in Spanish and they want to have a location or service center which is a little bit closer to the US. Uh, so that that is the, the reason uh, we are we are opening up center in Mexico so we can uh, we can assist our existing clients or future clients as well in, in Spanish language and also uh, provide them the support uh, closer to 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 the US. So it's a near shore, uh, uh, near shore uh, support and in Philippines would be uh, completely offshore. We are very, very competitive because, you know, uh, being in Mexico, being in, in the Philippines and having the U.S. presence, I mean, it definitely uh, puts us on, on, on our map. Uh, having the service centers in two different countries definitely helps us uh, maintain a good balance in case if something happens in the Philippines or in Mexico. The, the other service locations should be able uh, to step in and help uh, during the, the crisis situation. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is definitely, it, it, it's putting us in a very competitive position. At AFNI, we have created a lot of jobs and that the, these jobs uh, are, you know, helping 
the people in the Philippines and in Mexico create uh, or support their families. And I think that that is always so pulling to see that that not only we are helping our clients uh, to be very competitive in the markets they are in, but also we're creating jobs that helps uh, the people of the Philippines and Mexico uh, be better and improve their uh, living life uh, life stats. It would be more expansion, so we're looking into you know our our for the Philippines standpoint. Uh, after you know opening up our center Rosa location, we are looking into opening up another site in, in, in the province, in the Philippines. And then when it comes to, to Mexico, well, we do believe that uh, they will be expanding in Mexico in a different city after we fill up, Mon fill up Monterey site. I think from the global expansion standpoint, we'll, we'll continue to expand and if there is another country that we need to uh, need to, to explore or need to go in, I think that will eventually happen based on the, the client need and requirements. But uh, for, for, for the growth, I mean, I think it's, uh, uh, we will be expanding uh, in the current markets that we are in today. Jeremy at Athlete.